The natural counts as not being in the main. Wow. I can't believe it. Wow. This. We've been done dirty. Yeah, that is... That's actually incredible, because it is okay. in the natural as well. Oh my god. I bet he thought... I bet he, like, got his family together, and they thought through, like, all the technicalities they could, like, get away with. I'm just <laughs> They wrote these sentences. I can't right? believe it. Oh my god. They didn't put it on a third... No, hold on. When is the robo yeah. unit? It's just that they yeah. will slow down his army for a little while, and you thermal is awfully active. And, well, now he's actually defending. This would be a perfect opportunity for Liberators to come in, but Viper abducts will take them out of the equation. Tanks, not getting too many shots. Where is the rest of you thermal's army? It's got an F2 here. Good micro away. Good pair. The blinding cloud, though, but it's a choke. And eventually, yeah. I think Lambo's going to have to back off. That choke point just is actually the savior of you thermal because he was actually running into trouble. Like, where was his army? Couldn't so really. Just a couple of opportunities as the game's resumed and we're able to get back in. Doing a little dance, EG. Game. Oh. <laughs> darn, darn it. <laughs> uh, that, that's amazing timing. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, it is. Um, watch me oh. again, guys. <laughs> yeah, watch CG. It's fun. <laughs> are you downloading something? <laughs> you guys are missing. Uh, it's only okay if you also are comfortable dealing with all of it. In the bottom right, multitasking all over the place. It is a laser up two to zero. Wow. Is it like a taunt? <laughs> you like say that just to get in their head? <laughs> or is it, is it him actually trying to be helpful? <laughs> I, I don't know. Top that down side, our red brothers play is host and from... <laughs> yeah. not too helpful. But trying to catch the army away from each other is probably his best bet. He gets rid of the ground army, the brulers would be easier to tackle and vice versa. So he's got to be aggressive. He's moving out. Oh. Ruptor's not here in plentiful numbers. Stop the Tempest. Yeah. Fungal does catch everything, but the Storm's also catching a lot. Yeah. Oh, so many the Storms. The Storms are really good. It's not enough. The Storms are really, really that good. It's just there's not enough to actually fight those Broodlords still. The ground army went down. There was a very funny uh, patch note about it. It's like we could feel the frustration of Terran players scanning and barely not catching the observer. <laughs> so we made them slower. I was like, what? This is like the funniest wording I've ever seen in a balanced patch note. But oh, dude, you know, no, Bl Blizzard has that amazing, gentle tone about everything. Like if I was on <laughs> fire, they'd be like, I recognize that you are having some challenges with trying to douse yourself, you know, and I'm just, okay, well, please bring buckets of water. Mm -hmm. We want to let you know that we are listening and we care about your feedback. And I know, you know they'll make a change and everything, but... Yeah. Zest is picking off so many units. The Nexus might fall, but there's still no probes down. We see a stim, and all the uh, Marine Marauder from the top go assault those stalkers. Immortals try to dash up, pick off some of the tanks, but look at this! A pilot SCV is now coming to join in on the party, and we're looking at the supply 91 to 75. U Thermal is pulling ahead. Yeah, there comes the blink. So this is kind of it for Zest, but these stalkers are way too exposed. Are you wow. kidding me? Wow! U Thermal with the three. Let's move. Blade of Justice. One. Are you going to give me orders? Speed banelings are done. Mutilus pick off the tanks. Perfect angling from Dong Regu. Queen's there to pick away at the medevacs. And here DRG has enough mutilists and banelings to finally eliminate this entire force. Oh, oh look wow. at the bailing fire. Eliminate much. Oh, look at Clem. He gets wow. all the bailings there. Oh, my goodness. Clem, you are so good. The Muta's busy chasing the medevacs. Somehow that medevac survives as well, by the way, with one HP. This is the army towards the main force. The Marine count is looking a little bit low here, but the Ling Baneling count continues to roll in. But look at this target firing from Clem. He didn't even move. He didn't even run. He just stood there and picked off Baneling after Baneling. And so the supply for Dong Ray was plummeting in the midst of all of this. Yep, that was not good enough. I mean, Ooh, the, the first significant mistake of the game in the main base, the supply depots haven't lifted. Clem has his whole army just there at the oh, south of his whoa. main base. <laughs> Okay, I actually did not see that either. I was like, he's a human. It's he's an actual human. We have the first evidence that this is not a sophisticated AI. <laughs> All right, just... there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I was like, gosh. he's maxed out, but why does he not have any units out on the map? I was actually yeah. here up in the main base. A drop's going down. Oh no, I'm not gonna say what kind of pylon it is, but it is one. Say it. Large falls. Say it. It was an artosis pylon. It's gone, man. <laughs> and also the upgrades. I mean, 
TY, it feels like he just did one quick blow. The first two Hellions are not even out yet. Okay, he's gonna reinforce it right now. Is it oh. in time? It's so close. Oh, oh no. Oh. What? Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh no, the engineering bay is not enough. And if any of you wondered what a timing is, this is it. Before any Hellions were out, before there was any additional defense, Sue just bombs straight up and can continue to pressure. And at this point in time, Mule's at the front going- Ooh, and Sue is way out of position. He's not capable of dealing with it. It's just a lot of Marines. So a couple drones have gone down and this will also allow Innovation to use that other army he still has on the right bottom side of the map. He is once again getting in range of that drone line. He gets a cancel on that base at six o'clock. Well done, some really good play. No, Sue, I don't know if you want to fight this. Who does want to fight it? Ooh. But it's a bad fight with the Mudas. This is a real challenge. I, I still remember when uh, I was at an event with Nick and Dan were both casting and uh, they were tight on time. So they just had to keep going like game to game, to game to game to game. And, you know, they were swapping casters off the desk, but Nick just had to go to the bathroom. He just really, really needed to go. And it was like a Terran versus Terran. I don't remember who was playing, but I remember one of the players was going to win in game number four. And this started to make mistakes and started to become close. And Nick was so mad at the player that messed up because then they would have to immediately go into game five. <laughs> and, then, and then a cheese started and Nick was like, yes, yes, this is the way to play this map. And it was a quick game. He's like, all right, GG, we're out. <laughs> like, this is something that will happen to anyone who does any on camera work. There always comes a time where the fact that you're an organism begins to interrupt. <laughs> through special still has a huge look at this look no. at this sh absolute no. brilliance <laughs> oh my god you are and here comes me. now the bcs jump in as well but now the bcs are revealed and all that special needs to do is scan keep vision of these bcs and get some lock-ons going he's got a lot of cyclones 18 minutes in specials like oh yeah upgrades maybe i should drop some armories as well so i too can get upgrades <laughs> <laughs> I thought he had an armory, but just hadn't started. No, I just, it's at 18 minutes into a TVT on five base goes, yeah, upgrades are going to be pretty helpful here, huh? <laughs> oh, oh my, my God, he's up seven. He's, wow, and it's GG with zero, zero upgrades. <laughs> zero, zero upgrades. No. Oh my no, no, God. No. Wow. <laughs> oh, you got three, three. Oh, sweet child. What a mistake you've made to get three, three upgrades when going mech. Ugh. Like, so it seems like yeah. you're absolutely spot on. And it's really important for Serral to figure this one out. Serral obviously first needs to worry about the initial 12 pool. Let's not forget about that. This is still a 12 pool opening, which means that Zerklings are still to the other side of the map very early on. And that is a lot of damage already. That's a Serral. Oh my goodness. Serral. Serral with an insane surround on the Zerklings of Elazer. Are you okay, Sean? Oh, yeah, no, I tried to drink my water and then I went, <gasps> but I was drinking water and I almost drowned. <laughs> oh my God, what an incredible surround. <laughs> it's okay, man, oh, take, a, take a moment. Oh my God, I tried to drink the water and I, I failed quite miserably. Oh, Serral's in clearly a superior position after that. Own crush one where they pull all but one or all of the drones. This is the traditional one where they go for the spine crawler rush. Now, obviously, doing this on Zen means that if these spines go up, the fact that you have a natural expand doesn't mean anything for Sero because you'll never be able to mine from it. So, Sero is oh forced to fight. Sero is going to fight. Two spine crawlers finish up. I think Sero's in trouble, right? Two spine crawlers, you don't win this, even if your name is Sero. Oh, and that's GG, ladies. There are just too many Marauders. I mean, just the sheer tankiness of all of this. Three, three upgrades. Oh no, finishing right at the end of the attack. Yeah, when Reino is pretty much out of units, it was really cool to see him have a couple of Banelings as a flank on the right side. We have another Zergling counterattack, trying to get a few SCVs, but I'm afraid it's just a little too late. Reino running out of Goodness. steam. Hero Marine with the 2-0 lead. Goodness. Sitting in range of the middle line, the Banelings not really getting the connections that they're looking for. It's just a couple of Marauders. I think this is going to be it for the second day of TSL 5, as I just don't see any way that Reyna can stop this army. Is it an upset? I don't know. I know he's done it before. He <laughs> won a couple times in the qualifiers, but Hero Marine is going to send Reyna to the lower bracket.
And Rainer is desperately trying to hold on, but it is not enough. Hero Marine. He knows the parting knows that's going to be possible, so he's really trying to deplete the force energy before actually collapsing in. And here it comes now. Most of the force have now been used. The Corruptors on top of the Colossus as well. And the Bailings do slip through at the oh. last second. Lots of connections going into the heart of that army. Mostly Ravagers left over, but is the Remax going to be good enough? Rainer doesn't actually have that much Larva. That actually might be the biggest problem here. It's a lot of stalkers left over with good upgrades. But ooh, those links. Okay. I think they have it's okay. Too. That's a He's lot gonna of stuff. He's going to push this back. Yep. Yes, it is. The, the queens, can they actually hold long enough for Serral's own banelings to form? He also needs more lings. This might just end up working out. The banelings are headed right towards the drone line. That is going to be a big problem as Serral decides to split. Actually going for the less drone kills there. Not too bad. In fact, up workers yet still. One more looking for the kill, not going to find it. And Lings have popped out for Serral now, so the snowball effect is not going to happen here for Vanya. He's going to be forced to pull of back. SCV damage, but there are a few Marines here and a sieging tank, and that's very important. So I don't think those Vikings do enough. His innovation across the map is going to be in that main. Has Raven still with some energy on them and has the Vikings to help out as well. So not mm. feeling super pretty at the moment for Cure. It's really was, bad, actually. Yeah, it's, it's actually terrible. But the tank shot on the bottom side are big. And that's going to clean out innovations on, but not before the tanks then go down to the order turrets. These ore depths is if they take guys out of gas. But that's something that a Zerg player is not really supposed to be able to see. Now, the Overlord's going to see everything. Oh, well, you could have. My dude, oh. I believed in you. You just had to move to the right as well, by the way, like a little bit. Oh, okay. You just had to actually <laughs> scout. He's just like, oh, hmm. next is in the main base. Perfect. He didn't accidentally <laughs> kill it, I guess. That was actually a very odd scout. Like, that's when you stop. Very to hold showtime. Going to maybe go into disruptors. It's one of my preferred ways for him to play. I think it's very fun to watch. And you can definitely throw off most Terran players who don't anticipate having to deal with them this early. But whether it's Colossus or disruptors, they're not going to be out for this push. Yeah, that's going to be the tough part, right? That you, you know, Ty just did enough earlier, and now he's coming through this bottom side. He's going to work his way through the rocks and then get up to this high ground. These it's just Celts and Stalkers, right? With an upgrade disadvantage, it's going to be tough. Meanwhile, Widowmine's back into the main base. Showtime, not paying attention. So there goes ten workers again. And Ty's just like, yeah, cool. It's back away. Don't even need a fight. Get my ghosts up and continue to build my own tech up. And that's going to be really good for me. That is so much left over. <laughs> Zealots going all the way across town to try and do something are forced to retreat, but good news is they can. Immediately into plus two for TY, the macro master already on his two, two upgrades. I don't think Showtime really has. They just need for so long counters, or cancer, although it catches right with the time of trying. Those roaches on their way back there. Now blinding clouds to stop these lurkers, which are very fast to throw with the adaptive talents, and Serral's losing a lot of ravages. He will win a roach fight on the right side, and Raynor might yet again lose that fourth base. But can Serral keep his own bases alive because this army keeps pushing through and Serral needs reinforcements and he needs them right now. To the point where he actually... the map, Euthermal is landing his Vikings for a moment. He wanted to run into this. He forces the order turrets already. And that's obviously big because it means there's less breaking potential here from Clem, who's down 40 supply in this game, pulling SCVs into that tank fight on his own natural. He's going to lose so many workers. Yes, he may very well clean up, but Another 20 workers down, and now Euthermal pulls his own workers saying, well, if you're losing that many, I can lose a few as well. And that's going to be it for Euthermal to continue his run. Going here for special as well. And this is the kind of stuff you just don't really want to be dealing with, right? If your mech, one armory gets picked off, that upgrade got just started. The other one is almost done, though, so that would be a disastrous armory to lose. But he's not going to lose that one. Special getting a bit fortunate there. But at the same time, he's losing a lot of tanks. And once again, TY is going to be on the high ground here. Being on the high ground means you are in range of all these SCVs. I really like what TY is doing. This is yeah. honestly a very good play. Really? He wants to delay it for the Dark Templars. Uh, he spots it with the Banshees. I don't know if Gabe is paying attention. Obviously, there's no eBay. This is just, this is so wild. Because there's no eBay. There is one scan available. Depots? One scan could kill both right now. Yeah, he's gonna start losing Marines. He has this. He just dropped the mule. He just dropped the mule. Oh my god! What? No. This this is actually just the worst timing. Oh, that's painful. 
I've, I've got Blocking nothing. the depots, which means that these Zerglings get in. And I feel like this kind of stuff is so nice. At the same time, Raynor wanted to fight in the middle of the map, but he realized he didn't have Baning Speed yet. So he backed off immediately. But these links have been super successful. Raynor, in his traditional way, is getting some sick damage done. Uh, and Clem, because he was focused on the front, just put the SVVs in a bad position to attack. And he's actually losing his entire mineral oh line my natural. What? what? Just like that? Just like that, one run by. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous for both of them. I oh hate wow! Kind of stuff. Whoa, whoa! I've never seen this response before. Oh my gosh! What? He's gonna try and wall. The wall doesn't really work very comfortably. Oh no! Can you get a full? Is this a full? No, that's not a full wall. I mean, it's gonna buy time, but it's not a full wall. There's no way this is a full. Yeah, wall. that's not a full wall. <laughs> I think he canceled them, right? He, oh my god! Imagine if he was right. The, the, the you, you, you gotta you have cancel this stuff. You gotta cancel the stuff. Why don't you what? cancel the Eva chamber? What are you doing, Elaze? What is happening? He, uh, he tries to do the drone drill now, but his lings are so. What? I mean, they're just not on the way. There's no spine finish. crawlers. The hatchery is finally canceled, but it's way too. It was yeah. not it. No, <laughs> being in the middle of the map was also kind of just a questionable start, right? I mean, the Mudas are gonna come back home. I think it's, it feels that Reyna thought that the Cyclones were still guarding those Mudas in the left top side, but that wasn't the case at all. And it yeah. means that Reyna is now under a lot of pressure as he just went up to 95 drones. I mean, that's cool and all, but do you actually have enough units to defend there? It seems like the answer is no. So many Cyclones survive. GG gets called. Reyna finally ends up dropping a map and innovation keeps his relationship, hope. right? <laughs> like He's gonna scare him. It. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Showed it to the Overlord, which is trying to look for the two racks now, and then shows the bunker, and <laughs> that's that is a very appropriate reaction, though, for a fake. Oh, oh wow. no, look no. At all now the it's an overreaction. Oh, oh no, 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 Rainer, you got jibated, my friend. Oh wow, wow! wow. If you, oh, what? And they stay. This is so much lost mining time. Yeah. Okay, I guess his hatchery is gonna finish up, but this is. He really so started to show its weakness, and now he's about to have his last fight for game number five. This is going to be it. Innovation is going to advance forward. Rainer is not going to win this tournament as his last ultras get taken out here alongside his queens. Innovation is just too damn good. In <laughs> I love that. Innovation is just too damn good at this video game. Rainer has had a remarkable run in the lower bracket and Innovation was on his uh, almost last life is what it felt like. But GFG gets called and Innovation is the one. We could even bring them back <laughs> to try and help out against the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, that was a giggle right there. He is going to grab, he actually didn't even blink. He's blinking them defensively to save their lives. Grabs the planetary, grabs the STVs, and can continue because that is so many DTs. I don't know if TY's reinforcements can handle it. The TY is causing a lot of damage in the main base of Zest. Uh, TY needs to scan actually though in the main. Like that's a lot of Dark Templars. TY, please pay attention. Okay, he's like, you know what? Okay, if he loses this Dark Shrine, does he build another one? When things calm down, yes. I'm not sure he does it immediately. But if things ever do calm down, he still has oh that bottom god. right base to work on. The Look DT at is up the flank. Look at the flank. Oh my god. Spear god. Dragon was right all along. The tanks are gonna go down. Uh, I mean, obviously he loses an insane amount of DTs, but he's got more DTs coming in from the right side. Zest actually defends this without having a single armor upgrade. What the hell am I watching? Is this still StarCraft 2? I mean, he does lose a Colossus this there. Is crazy how well Zest is making this work. I actually think yeah, he's going to win. If he dispenses his money a little bit, he's going to warp in a couple of Zealots. I'm still sad those are not Dark Templars, by the way. He's waiting for the Shadow Strike on the left top side. Zest has no armor upgrades, but he doesn't care. TY has a medevac full of units, by the way. Zest with the forward blink, and he is just obliterating this Terran army. I cannot believe it. 15 gay, triple Dark Shrine, no armor upgrades. Zest does not care. He's just all out attack, man. That's all he's been doing. Vicious indeed. Zest takes a two.